Hey, hello guys, how are you doing? This is Steve Worthy with Worthy Leadership Group and also The Worthy Podcast. This is, I can't remember what day for Vlogmas this is, but I wanted to just kind of come on. This is just, you know, me right after I finished um, recording a podcast, which was pretty awesome. I'm actually pretty excited about it. And I wanted to talk a little bit about microphones. I am not a, let me, let me just qualify this real quick. You know, I, I am not a microphone and audio expert. You know, I did radio um, a little bit in, um, in New York and, um, you know, had a show um, in Atlanta with a good buddy of mine called, on Blog Talk Radio. And so I am still not well versed in a lot of the audio and you know um mastering and all those different things so this is truly coming from a, a, a layman's you know perspective you know however i have done tons and tons of research about different mics of course the difference between a condenser mic and also a dynamic mic so when i started doing podcasts this is my current mic when I started doing podcasts, I actually used this one. And this one is a Rode NTS, NTSB Mini. And it's a USB microphone, which is, which obviously um, is, is, is awesome. It is a, a great microphone. Um, it plugs right into your, uh, your laptop or your, or your desktop and you can record right from it and it has really it has really great sound the only issue is, is that as a condenser mic it picks up so much sound ex you know external sound um not just you know directional i'll talk a little bit about that on this um on this uh, on my on my sure mic is that it picks up so much sound and you know it's it's um that's the issue and that's the thing that you actually have to kind of watch out for is how much sound this will actually pick up and if your room isn't treated if your room isn't sound treated um if you're not in a really um if not in your closet you know um i've actually done um an episode when when i was on when i was traveling um and they had this big closet and i actually had you know hung clothes and all this other stuff so that way i was able to get some really good sound um, in there as well. Um, and then as you can tell, I have just recently started to treat my, my office slash studio as I'm kind of redesigning this with, with some sound paneling and corners and, and different things as well. And then over here, you can't see it, but I actually have a moving blanket. Um, and that just creates this kind of cone, if you will, from a sound standpoint. So, um, I, and I used, several um, moving blankets before I started treating my office and it actually sounded really great. The other thing that I did was I recorded super early in the morning before my family and everybody got up and the dogs were up um, and that way it was super silent and I was able to get a really crisp and, 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 and great sound from this one and the price point isn't bad um, either from for the for, for the road uh, NTSB so it's, it's just it's just a great mic but as I started to get more and more into podcasting and I focused and I wanted to focus in on the sound um, the sound quality and of course the content is first and foremost so if you are thinking about podcasting if you're thinking about um, going into into this um, just two things that I always talk about and I think are super important is the sound quality and the content. So your content has to be relevant, but more importantly, your sound quality has to be awesome. So this is my new mic and um, I've recorded probably about five or six um, podcasts and um, audio and then I've, did, I've done several video uh, podcasts with this, with this mic. Um, it may look familiar to you, um, and the name may, if you are, um, if you've been in audio for a while. Um, of course, a lot of YouTubers will use the Shure SM7B. Um, this is what everybody has been calling the baby brother. 
This is the Shure MV7, and it is it, it's a, it's an amazing mic. Um, I was going to get the Shure M7B, but uh, it, it it requires a lot of additional equipment as well. Now, what you don't see on my desk, and I'll do um, I'll probably do another video about that, is that I do have a Rodecaster Pro, which is a which is a, an, an amazing interface. Um, so I've actually been using that for a lot of my a lot of my podcasts. I was just recording a intro and outro for um, for an episode that I was doing, so I didn't really need the the um, the road. I didn't want to bring that out, and I just actually did it using my Shure uh, MV7 right into my actual iPad, which is awesome. And this mic has has been great. The sound quality is outstanding. Um, it's it's also a it's a USB mic and also a uh, XLR XLR mic as well. So it covers it covers both. So when I'm using my Rodecaster Pro, I actually plug the the XLR into the Rodecaster Pro as my interface, and I'm able to actually kind of have an amazing workflow with my overall podcast. Um, so, but for today, I just use the USB functionality and put it right into my um, iPad and it recorded on my iPad, sent it over to my um, podcast editor and bada bing, bada boom, done deal. Just a great microphone. Um, I love the sound quality. It gives you the ability to either be far away from the mic or you can be up close as well. And based on your voice and things like that, you can actually um, create different tones. Um, you know, the whole proximity effect, if you get closer, you you know, you make, you know, your voice sounds a little deeper. I already have a pretty deep voice. And so for me, um, being a little bit further back on the microphone um, actually helps with the overall, overall sound quality as well. Um, you know, I just wanted to come on today and just share that. This is a um, impromptu <laughs> vlogmas for today. And I just wanted, <clears throat> excuse me, I just wanted to share a little bit about, just a little bit about my workflow. Um, I'm gonna be recording a few more podcasts and I'm gonna probably have the the, um, the Rodecaster Pro out and I'll probably try my best to explain how I use that as well as I continue to go forward with um, vlogmas as well. So. Have a great day. If you have any questions, any comments or your thoughts or um, you, you have a question about one of the mics or something like that, please comment below um, and let me know. And I will do my best to, of course, get back to you with whatever um, knowledge that I have. Um, if you want to think about doing a podcast or something like that, I, I, I also you know, can help you with kind of working through your workflow and just give you some, give you some examples or, or something like that as well. Please do not hesitate. I'm here to help. Um, once again, I'm Steve Worthy with The Worthy Podcast and um, also with Worthy Leadership Group. Have a great day. God bless.